Head coach Sean Miller has joined us here. Courtside, coach, congratulations. This was an outstanding basketball game uh, played by both teams today, but a well-deserved victory certainly by yours. You know, it was, uh, it was a very hard-fought game, and uh, whoever won is going to feel like, uh, you know, a million dollars, and whoever doesn't uh, it, it really feels like it's a lost opportunity. I'm sure that's how Utah feels, but uh, all credit deserve, uh, goes to Utah. They, they're an outstanding offensive team. Uh, we knew it before the game began. Uh, Larry Kostoviak is as good as anybody that we face at creating opportunities for his players offensively. They're real hard to guard. And uh, Cedric Bearfield, you know, we, we've seen a lot of players over the, the years in the Pac-12 and uh, some outstanding guards. He's one of them. Uh, just watching his development at Utah, it's, uh, it's how it should be. He's grown, it seems like, every year that he's been there. And he just, uh, he's a one-man wrecking ball. Uh, we didn't really have an answer. And I say that more to give him credit because we tried very hard. It wasn't like we weren't on assignment. He's just a difficult guy to stop. And, uh, you know, I think fouling him out, him getting his fifth foul was a real turning point towards us, you know, winning, uh, winning the game. All right. We had a hard time choosing a player of the game because so many guys had a hand in this. Chase Jeter with a uh, tremendous double-double. But I wanted to ask you about Dylan Smith, who uh, his defense has been his calling card. Uh, and today he had both going for him. He did. You know, three for three from three on a, uh, a night where we really needed it. You know, he, he kind of camouflaged maybe a bad night by some other guys that are that have shot a better percentage. But, you know, one thing about Dylan is he believes in himself. We watch him every day. He's one of our hardest workers. He practices very hard, uh, has done it now for three years. And, you know, defensively, he reminds me a lot of Kadeem Allen. You know, he can impact the game in a number of ways. And then when he's able to do it on the offensive end like he did tonight, uh, it was certainly one of his best games. And we needed him to play a great game tonight. I was happy we were able to get 84 points. You know, uh, you have to be able to score against Utah because they're so good on offense. And I, I thought we did a number of things. You know, Chase Jeter is also somebody who deserves a ton of credit. You know, Chase was 8 for 12 from the floor. 21 points, it has to be a career high, 13 rebounds. It is. Yeah. And uh, he played did the game with four assists as well. So he was uh, one of the best players in the game, and I thought he really put it together for us. Utah coming into the ball game plus 4.8 in rebounding. Uh, how important was it for your team to out-rebound Utah today? Well, Brian, you know because you've covered us uh, like you have, but there's no more meaningful stat towards us winning than total rebounds. When we out-rebound our opponent, uh, it, it favors us in a big way. When teams out-rebound us, for example, like Colorado did, um, not many times do we leave with a victory. And uh, it was good for us to compete against Utah because that's one of several things they do really well on offense, get second shots. All right, congratulations. Great way to start the conference. Uh, now, of course, a taste of the road starting on Wednesday at Stanford. We look forward to it, and, you know, again, thank you to the crowd. It was a tremendous, typical McHale crowd. We have such an advantage here, and it's unlike any place uh, in the country because not only is our crowd tremendous, but they always stick with us when things aren't going well. They're not the type of crowd that turns, uh -huh. and uh, that's what separates the McHale crowd from the others we're compared to. And We could not have pulled this out without the great, great Saturday afternoon crowd that we had. Yeah, thank gr you. Great atmosphere. All right, thanks, Coach. Head coach Sean Miller here courtside as the Wildcats win in overtime, beating Utah 84-81. to And uh, next up Wednesday, Stanford Cardinal at Maples.